Star Wars The Old Republic, Jedi Knight. Uh, we still have our experience boost that we just barely put on at the end of the last episode. We're going to go back and go on a quest drop-off spree. And of course on our way we're going to see all these cool uh, archaeology nodes that we can gather. We're going to go gather them all. Go get it. Go get it. Because I'm going to go on a crafting spree pretty soon. Probably at the end of this episode. So I want lots and lots of materials. Oh, there's one more that I missed. Oh well. See, my archaeology is still only 41. I don't know why they put 55 archaeology things back there. I was talking about last time, the alarm crystals. Don't worry, we'll find them on the next planet. Not worried at all. 48 robot crystals. Well, I'm good now. What's my title say? Knight of the Republic. Yep. It's one that all Jedi Knights get. Cartel security. <laughs> I was here for a bounty event and I hiked up there. I right. haven't heard an explosion in a good while. Guess that means you defuse those crates. I think I found them all. Let's hope Black Sun doesn't get any more. We'll make sure. No more people will be killed looking for food. Now, I'm no rich senator. But let me give you a little something for taking care of this. Recognition. You have my thanks. The price is well worth it for my peace of mind. We all just gotta do what we can. You probably have other business, so I won't keep you. Watch your back out there. And of course they're gonna give me stuff that he doesn't even have equipped. So it's really darn useful stuff. Okay, let's get that. Um, uh, the next drop-offs are all at where the quick travel point is here. So let's drop stuff off here. So you got this one. We got a mission there. I'll pick that up as soon as I drop this one off. I'm trying to clear out my All mission log. Recordings in here should be enough to make arrests. Perfect, perfect. I already talked to the Senate about getting you paid. And this really helps put the Black Sun out of commission. It's blasted priceless. If the violence gets any worse, the Senate's talking about giving up the lower levels altogether. All right, we got a mod. Let's make sure that I have spot for a 32 mod. Oh yes, my offhand saber there. Brilliant spot. Alrighty. Alright, and this quest will actually take us into the next area. So yeah, this I haven't seen one of you guys in ages. Not that I'm surprised. This place is a mess. I should be proud to say Lieutenant Dorn, chorus and security forces. These days, it's just a job. It doesn't even pay the bills. You should be proud of what you do. Right now, I'm just trying to keep my head above the garbage. Now some stupid hollow disk was stolen, and the commander wants me to deal with it. I don't have the manpower to recover stolen intelligence. I, I can't just pull a commando unit out of my helmet, can I? Perhaps I could be of assistance. You volunteering? I was probably going to figure something out, but hey, I'll take you up on that. Here's the deal. You probably don't know them, but there's these weird, secret passages running all over the planet. The funny thing is, we didn't even know about these passages until the schematics were stolen off an old data bank. Why would anyone steal this information? So they can sneak around the planet and get away with who knows what. But the schematics weren't taken by some gutter thief. They were taken by the blasted Justicars, crazy vigilantes. The Justicars are armed to the teeth. Most of my security officers just flat out refused to tangle with them. 
Sometimes it's necessary to risk ourselves for the greater good. That's easy for a Jedi to say. My men don't see fighting the Justicars as a risk, they see it as suicide. There's another detail. We don't know where the Justicars took the stolen schematics. An agent from the Strategic Information Service was assigned to track the thieves, but she hasn't reported back in. Rescuing this spy should be top priority. Ah, she's probably fine. You know how flaky intelligence types can be. Her name is Feeler Dan. A little old and a little batty, if you ask me. Feeler's last known location was in Justicar territory. If she's done her job, she should know where to find those schematics. I'll find her. You have my word. Now keep in mind, worthless as they may be, we're under strict orders to make sure these schematics aren't leaked to anyone. So after you find old lady Feeler and recover the schematics, you make sure to bring them directly back to me. That's critical. pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. I heard you sent the Black Suns packing. Have you tracked down where they took the cargo yet? I've brought what you requested. I'll send a security cleaning crew down there immediately. Then we can try to patch up this operation. All cores and systems indicate clean life waters flow upward. You flawlessly applied my crafted solution to the hydro supply at the black sun level below. Adulation. I'm glad to have been a part of it. You are unmarred by black sun green perpendiculars. I am gratified by this. Clean life waters flow and nurture upper levels. The coarse and sufferer beings achieve benefits on the Enclave's green ingenuity. My black sphere evolves to a purple parallel because of you. When I impart this development, Padake will progress enthusiasm with the Senator. I'm glad life on Coruscant will be better now. The city planet's infrastructure expresses elementary designs. Additional upgrading is sternly recommended. I pledged you a piece of Gree ingenuity. This solution was crafted specifically for your being. My acknowledgement and appreciations. I continue upgrading cores and systems and ensure the clean life waters flow upward. 
Accept my unyielding gratefulness. I'm here to help. Is there anything I can do? Operator units always inherit fouled labors. I administrate as well as Patake, but I am marooned to waste processing. What have I done to incur white acute? I'm a Jedi Knight. I'd like to lend a hand with the repairs. Jedi? Ah. I must adjust my estimation of Patake's aptitude for administration, but only slightly. Patake commanded me. Optimize Coruscant's waste processing system. Preserve your organs from filth, disease, poisons. But of not foreseen bipeds plunder Gree ingenuity from waste processors. With Gree optimization solutions stolen, filth, disease, poisons spread uncontrolled, plagues imminent. We need to act now before it's too late. You comprehend the volatility of this predicament. You exhibit enhanced insight for your species. The Ugnot foreseen bipeds plundered degree optimization solution unaware of internal transmitters. I detect the plundered device's coordinates. Hathaday authorizes compensation of Republic credits to the Black Bi sector who repossesses the optimization solution. I suppose I can do that much for you. That is the expected response, Black Bi sector. Why exhaust respiratory functions on it? <laughs> Why exhaust respiratory functions on it? Like, that's what I thought you were going to say. Why'd you say it then? <laughs> I love the Gree. They're so fun to talk to. Alright, let's go deliver this side quest. Up there. What you My thanks. The best part of public office is interacting with the citizenry. Wouldn't you say, Senator? My work doesn't leave me much time for handshakes and baby kissing. A moment. Those are the bills, yes. By tomorrow, friend, this scandal will make headlines, and my gratitude will be in your account. I already have a couple of motors. This one's better. 36 more armor. T7's the tank. Yeah, we'll upgrade T7. Okay. General Var Sutra. Just don't tell me it's a trap. I'm a sit. Working as my chief scientist. How can I defend the Republic if I can't trust my own people? Tarnas' entire engineering team vanished along with the planet prison. They're all traitors too. The Sith want us to panic. Don't give in to fear. Tarnas will use the planet prison against Coruscant. He could trap us here forever. Paralyze the Republic by holding us hostage. You're our only hope of stopping that. I'll stop him, General. But I need to know where he is. That's where I come in. I just traced that hollow call we intercepted from the Black Sun base. Tarnas was communicating from down in Sector 439. Justicar territory. Tarnas knows we're not welcome there. Justicars are paramilitary vigilantes. They took over a sector, cut ties with the rest of Coruscant. They don't like visitors. I call them vigilantes. Explain. Many Justicars are ex-Republic military came home to find gangsters controlling their neighborhoods. They believe the Republic abandoned Coruscant to crime, so they've taken matters into their own hands. Justicars are well-trained and armed, but they don't concern me. It's the Sith Lord I'm worried about. You shouldn't face Tarnas alone. I may only be a Padawan, but I can help you. With this much at stake, 
two Jedi are better than one. T7 equals wait here. Kira plus Our Jedi. Be careful. The planet prison against us. Fate of the Republic rests on your shoulders, Jedi. May the Force be with you. All right. And even though I get awesome wrist guards, I'm gonna go for those combinations. And I got a level 15. I get nothing. 16. This cauterize gets a little better. Okay. I only have 376 kills with T7, but we do need to get kills with Kira also. So I'm gonna turn on that one while she's here. We can start watching her kill count going up. Okay, and plus side, you can send T7 on missions while you've got Kira out. I love that aspect of the game. You can send your companions that are not doing anything anyway to go do something useful. To grind up your crew skills or to craft really awesome things once you get to max level. It's really nice. Alright, now I do need to go get some skills from the skill trainer, because available should be a heroic moment, call on the force. That's I'll talk about that while I'm heading into Justicar territory. But the main one that I wanted was Juyu form. I talked a little bit about it last time. If you are a watchman, Juyu form is the form that you want. Period. If you are combat, you'll get a form right here, a Taru. That's the one you want. And if you're concentration, you want Shicho. Basically look at the image and choose the form that matches the image. Um, all Sentinels will get Juyu form at level 14 or whatever. And all Jedi Knights will get Shicho form at level 1, I believe. But only combat Sentinels will get a Taru form. But they get it at level 10. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. Blade Storm. Okay. Rogue Moment Call on the Force. I'm going to put that up here. That's kind of like an emergency thing. Because look at the cooldown 20 minutes. That is an emergency one. Geo form. You put it in that spot and switch. There's no reason to be on Shicho anymore. We are now Geo form. Okay, let's. Craft more might hilts. Uh, deconstruct a couple of these. See if any of these are better for Kira. No, they aren't, so I can sell them. This is all cell fodder at this point. That's why I was saving it last time, because Kira is willpower. Ooh, hello. Looks like we get a break time. Kira. Oh, you can't craft yet because you're still a guest. Not an official comedian. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You. You there. How would you like to live in a manner appropriate to your lofty status while also supporting the Republic? Strengthen your political connections and expand your influence in the galaxy like never before with your own strategically located stronghold. Use your stronghold to build a power base. Guard against your enemies. Heck, roll a party. Roll lots of parties. Make your success known. Is it hyperbole to suggest that owning and showing off a stronghold might be the most important thing you ever do for the Republic? That isn't for me to say. Find your stronghold now. Do it for the Republic and for yourself. Okay, looks like we have enough time to do this. Okay, this is something completely on the side. Uh, you keep crafting. Craft fast. Try and get up to 60 quick. Okay, um... Strongholds are like your own house. You get a house somewhere in the game. You can find... Uh, little things to put in your house and make it cool. Uh, the mission here 
is to purchase a stronghold at this directory, which looks like this little house thing, same as this symbol here, um, on your mini-map. So we want to purchase one, the Coruscant one, costs 5000 and it says purchase and travel to. Really it's just travel to. If I get another Republic character, I don't need to purchase again, I can just travel to the Coruscant department. And this one is from Kazthor, my uh, Inquisitor. And so technically you still count as being on Coruscant. And you get a little intro movie as you're driving up to your apartment, house, whatever. Yep, and you get a, a nice overlook of the city. Um, the strongholds were introduced at 2... 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, somewhere around there. And it was because people were getting lots and lots of extra credits. And Bioware wanted somewhere for people to dump their extra credits. So that it didn't ruin the markets. Okay. Stronghold ownership right there. Let's keep T7 moving. Build more hilts. Thank you very much. Okay, as soon as you walk in there, you get all these all this furniture. All I have to do is right click it from your inventory and it becomes available for you to use. So let's use all those. Alright, so this is your stronghold. This is your way down. So now if you want to place something, you go to edit mode. Oh, there's more stuff there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so from here, you can choose where you want to place things. There we go. And you can go find something to place. You can sort it by category, tools. I've got a mailbox here. I'd like to place my mailbox there. So there you go. And stronghold storage. I would like some stronghold storage right there. So I can access a storage unit. That's awesome. You can even change some of the layouts here. So I got the wall panels. For this wall, you can choose to have the large columns, medium columns, you can have mixes, so you can put small or large items anywhere you want on there. So when you hide the hooks, you don't see them anymore. And you can actually go and interact with things. Pretty nifty. An actual mailbox. And for the next episode or so, I'll be getting three or four or five of these mails. And they all come with a few credits, insignificant, and one to three decorations that I can put on. G7, keep crafting. Okay. And the stronghold storage is different than your regular storage, I think. Not positive. But yeah, it's uh, buying an extra one is 350,000, so I can save up max and get an extra stronghold bay, but I don't need it right now. I could use that to transfer all my color crystals from my Inquisitor over here, I think. Because I think it's cross, it's across your legacy. Pretty sure. But anyway, I don't really want to put anything in there if I'm not positive. So I'll try it out with those first. Um, here's the stronghold. This is the main hallway here. You got your entryway there. You have a couple of rooms that overlook the city a little bit. This room and this room. And that's what you start with. Um, now everything else costs money to open up. There's a garage in here, but you have to pay money to uh, 
do it, you can either use in-game credits, 250,000, take us a while to get that, or you can use the cartel coins. Don't feel like doing that. These expansions are only 10,000, it'll buy the staircase, but it will not open up at the top. So you'll be able to go up the staircase, and then you'll be shut in right here. And you'll have to purchase this room. And you can just have one staircase if you want, and then you'll have to purchase all these other rooms, and then you have to purchase the main deck too, that you saw in the little intro there, where you're walking out this way. So everything is purchasable, and then you can fill the entire thing up with all kinds of uh, stuff that you find around the galaxy as you're questing. So that's how that works. Uh, I think in your legacy you can only have one stronghold per stronghold location. So for instance I had one on Dromenkos and now I have one on Coruscant. Um, so far there are one, two, two other locations, or might be three, because I know they're planning on another one, but I don't know if it's released yet. Um, yeah, so here's Coruscant, and you can rename it if you have other stronghold titles. I have Galactic Stronghold, I'm going to change that, and I can decide who owns it. And ours is hidden from uh, public listings, and that's just fine. Now from here, we can also travel, but if you uh, notice that this is a Republic stronghold, this is an Imperial stronghold, if you wish to travel one of the opposite faction, you have to pay a smuggling fee of a thousand. But some of the other ones on other planets are actually both. You'll see them half and half, and those can be accessed by anybody. Keep moving, T7. Those can be accessed by anybody. Um, you can look at other things in the guild. So here's uh, these are ones from my guild. Oh, we actually have a guild flagship there. That's nice to know. They count as a stronghold. And we have the... Uh, looks like we have a Nar Shadda headquarters set up. That's pretty cool too, and you can just travel there. Uh, key ring, if people share their keys with you, then they can come to your apartment. This is where they're stored. And you can give out keys. You can personally invite for a one-time invite. You can invite anybody in your current group. You can ban people. If you've given them a key, you can totally revoke that. And here you can give out silver and bronze keys. Uh, bronze keys is just they can access it. Silver is they can invite other people and kick them out if they're being weird about it. But they can't give away other keys. So that's how strongholds work. Pretty awesome. Yes, T7, I'm going to make you do some more. And while we're up here, while we're up here, I'm actually going to travel to, I've never seen one of these, our guild flagship. Alright, um, this is my very first time ever on any guild flagship. I've never seen one of these things before. But apparently this counts as the Republic Fleet. Interesting. A command console. Looks like it's over Balmora. And it exits at the lower Markaran outpost. Oh. Okay. So the orbital support is there, and you can move the flagship if you're authorized. Alright, T7, one more hilt. 
and that'll be up to 60. I've never seen this before. I'm experiencing it for the first time, just right with you guys, viewers. Alright, this is the officer's deck. What is that? Oh, it looks blue, so it looks clickable, but it's not. Can I go to officer deck? I've never seen this before. This is awesome. I'll probably finish exploring and then yeah, I won't go on to the next territory, the Justicar territory or whatever, until next episode. Okay, yeah, some cool stuff here. I got yeah, a few things, a few decorations. Looks like I'm not authorized to put down my decorations. That's just fine. I mostly grabbed the uh, guild just so that I can uh, get the experience boost. These are some of the things you can collect. They're from different planets. I believe I have a few of them. Um, you just get light side and dark side datacrons. You can get them as either faction, so I can get dark side datacrons as a Republic character. That's not a restriction. Okay. And that is an elevator to somewhere, but let's... Oh, there's a... So this should access my personal Legacy Stronghold stuff. That should be my personal cargo hold. Yep. Put some of that stuff in there. And this is the Guild Cargo Bay. And I have not unlocked that on this account, so I cannot access guild cargo bays. Escape pods. Those will probably shoot me down to Balmora, where this is located. So I'm not going to access those. Let's head up the elevator and see what's up there. Oh, some warning lights, and some blocked off stuff. Huh. There's a lot of decks on here. I'm just going to check the map area for each one. Okay, this is the command deck. Looks interesting. Let's peek through this door real quick. Oh. They don't have everything unlocked. Okay. That's fine. Uh, crew deck. They have the crew deck unlocked. Nope. Takes five million credits, killed funds. There are good places end game where you can grind a couple hundred thousand credits in like an hour or something, so it's it doesn't take terribly long to get to five million, especially if that's for the whole guild. Fifty people in the guild, you can get it in a couple hours or less. And this is engineering. Okay. Yeah. They don't have any of these places blocked off. Exit area. We're returning to Coruscant. We can't go to Belmora. Huh. So yeah, we're going to exit to Coruscant here, and I'm going to grind up my crew skills. Since I just got to level 6, yeah, every 20 levels in your crafting crew skills um, you're able to get more schematics, sometimes every 10 on some of them, so you might want to check it out occasionally, but definitely every 20. So we're going to go buy some more, and I will log off and continue grinding them up. Artifice. What? I'm 60. Give me more crafting schematics. Yes, here there. I don't know why he doesn't have the plus sign. Okay, yeah, see, these are available at 50. Get some new generators. Alright, well, thanks for watching this episode. I will see you next time where we will take on Justicar territory down here. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, oh, one more thing. Um, since my Inquisitor has finished Chapter 2, if I click Force Might, 
I also get Force Valor. That is the Jedi Counselor one. Because my uh, Sith Inquisitor has completed Chapter 2, I now have access to this buff. So I'll, my Jedi Knight will have two buffs now every time I click this. So that's a good reason to have at least four characters complete Chapter 2. So you can have all four of those buffs. Well, thanks for